things don't always go the way you would like them to. We went to the place to see the largest, deepest, freshwater spring in the world. And that was pretty cool. But we didn't get to see the manatees. Or alligator. Let's go down that road. <laughs> Faithful people, I'm Orlean. I'm Jerry. And if you're looking at this on uh, closed captioning, I noticed that they spell my name wrong. It is with an O. Orlean. <laughs> anyway, we were at the Springs, and lo and behold, it had to be a day when there was a big bus tour in there. So I couldn't do a lot of filming because there were so many people around me talking, and it was just a little awkward. We didn't get to see any of the manatees. It wasn't really quite the right time of day for that, but somebody on the boat tour, it's a glass bottom boat tour, and they said they saw a couple of manatees. Now normally, uh, depending on the time of year, there will be a lot of them in there, as, long as well as alligators and other things. So we went, we looked, we saw, we left. We, left. <laughs> we went into the visitor center and I'll show you a few pictures of that. There was also a little cafe in there and uh, a dining room in there too. the largest freshwater spring in the world. It's 186 feet, excuse me dear, 186, no, oh, yeah, look at this. <laughs> 186 feet deep and it is, it's 315 feet in diameter. People can actually swim in this. There are supposed to be usually manatees. Somebody said they saw some, but we haven't seen any yet. We are way up here. It is so clear. 270 million gallons a day come up from the springs. Can't even imagine that. That was nice to do that during my filming. <laughs> A little action shot there. <laughs> this is a little closer to the shore. My goodness, look how clear that is. Isn't that amazing? Oh, what do we got there? A log. Never mind. <laughs> we did see an alligator earlier, but I didn't catch it on my film. Okay, where am I? There we are. There's a bus group here, too. <laughs> Trying his wings, or her wings. glass bottom boats so you can go over the springs and you can see what's in the water it's so clear
Here. Here's a drone shot. <laughs> Those are the swimming things there, and we were on that tower right there. Yep. <laughs> now you can see what the springs looks like. Old Joe lived here in the horse and buggy days. Lived to be over a hundred years old, eleven feet two inches, and weighing six hundred and fifty pounds. Most photographed alligator in the wild. Uh, oh, and he was killed. Never, never hurt anybody. <laughs> never harmed or molested anybody. And he was killed. Ah. said you got to go to Wakala Springs and you got to see this and it was it would you know there were trails there that we didn't go on there was a campground that we didn't stay at so there are other things there for you uh, the boat tour you have to uh, reserve that well in advance if you want to go on that and this this uh, and this group that came in on the bus probably had their reservations in a long time ago because they took up most of the the boats <laughs> there was quite a few it was a big bus can't always know that <laughs> unless you're there so things don't always turn out the way you want. You don't always see the things that you wanted to see. You don't always, but but it was pretty impressive. 200, what was it, 260 gal million? 260 million gallons a day coming out of that spring? That's, I, I can't even imagine. Controlled fire. National Park. St. Mark's. Nas yeah, it's St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge. Where we were last week. Well, this is a first. We've never stayed in a Cracker Barrel before, but for years we've been hearing people say, oh, you gotta stay in the, stay at Cracker Barrel. They have places for RV sites. And they do. And we got one. And they have them marked for RVs and buses. And they go all along there. And there's nobody here. So we asked, is it okay if we stay overnight? Because we thought maybe something had changed. And no, nope, that was no problem. One of the campgrounds we were looking at staying at was at a, um, it was a, one that has springs at the campground. and. When we first read the website, it said $30. We thought, well, that's not too bad. Well, then we found out it was $30 per person. And then we found out it was $30 per person, two night minimum. That's $120 plus tax. And I was like, mm, no. So free is good. We're gonna stay for free. Well, sort of, we're gonna go in and eat, which we never do that much either, is eat at restaurants. But tonight, we're gonna give it a try. 
We went in and ate dinner and we came out and now the parking lot's full. I guess we got here at a good time because we were the only ones. And now they even got overflow over there. <laughs> I'm glad we got here when we did. Okay, this did not work out. <laughs> Look how close this RV is to us. Really close. They weren't the problem though. It was the one over there. Well, I think we there's, think. there's another semi over on the street that's really loud. And there was, the, yeah, the other semi, two semis, and an RV that started up as generator. He's the one that's making all that noise. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so it's three o'clock in the morning. We couldn't take it anymore. It was just too loud, too noisy. So we are going to Bass Pro Shop and hope for better there. We've had better experiences there anyway. Man. Well, this is a little better. It's quieter so far. There's the Bass Pro Shop. Everything looks blurry because there's wet water on the. Why does everything look so blurry? Oh, it's my glasses. <laughs> there's one way over there. Somebody in a truck. One there. And one there. Plenty of space. And this is where you're supposed to park, is where the employees area, and that they've got a lot of employee parking up, 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 up that way. So we're out of the way. All right, let's try and get some sleep. How they did that with the trees. They got them all over here, using them as art. Gary got his uh, black rifle hazelnut. It is, it is by a USA company and by veterans. It supports the veterans, organic and fair trade. All that for staying in their parking lot overnight. <laughs> it was so quiet here last night. After we got here, it was amazing. <sighs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Isn't that <laughs> a saying? We've always had really good experiences in Cabela's or Bass Pro Shop parking lots for overnights. It never made sense to us to stay in a Cracker Barrel that has um, 
a lot of um, highway noise and it's right in the middle of traffic it's all they're always in the middle of traffic uh, all around them and we've always wondered well why does everybody say it's so great to stay there and and it was not it was not <laughs> it was very noisy uh, we are, have nothing against Cracker Barrel we have nothing against the the business it's very smart of them to have it in the middle of traffic because <laughs> that everybody can see them. It's just noisy for us to be able to relax and get a night's sleep. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we have nothing against truckers. It was, the, it was really the two semis that were idling in there that were so overwhelming. We think there might have been one of the Class A's that also had a generator on, but we're not sure. They were just very close together, and here we were very spaced apart, and it was great. We love our truckers. Goodness gracious, our what would our what would we be without our truckers, huh? So this is uh, this is where we were. There was one Class C way over there. There was one parked around in there, and then this van. He's still here, and then us. And we were far away from the store. These are mostly employees, I think, that are here, from our understanding. We didn't hear any of the noise from the, the shipping and receiving. And the highway's way over there. So, perfect. We are on our way to a preserve, a nature preserve, and it's a state park. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. Next to it, a little bell is going to pop up. Ring the bell and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. If you don't ring the bell, you won't be notified. And check out our Facebook page because I have things on there that I don't put in our videos. And until next time, God bless.